Hello everyone, and um, as you might know, E4 got an update, if you even follow, you know, E4 news at all. And in a lot of nations, uh, in a lot of nations got updated. And I, I haven't actually played most of them. I've played Timurids, I've played Netherlands, but I haven't played Austria yet. So that's what we're going to do, because they're the one of the nations that got updated. So let's just hop right into it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, here we are. Um, so rival these guys. Okay. So, ruler also in Burgundy. So, we need to get Burgundian inheritance. And we need to ally four electors. I guess you. Anyway, uh, who can I. Well, maybe. Obviously, Burgundy. So, we need to get Von Hadsburg on Castile's throne and have more development of them or have four provinces in that region Ooh, we get restoration union in bohemia cool but up there oh wait no we need to do the state stuff oopsie what is this a house divided so we need to have large sauce either be dead or our ruler okay um can't really do much of these oh um i'll follow them I guess a little sun pause and actually how much money are we making? Pretty good money. Cool. So we'll get that, we'll get that, and we'll also get the Grand Company. We can actually add like steel right now. Or should I okay, I'm gonna roll Mary. Okay, here it is. We can either go low see your main branch. Or German Unification. Austrian Art Duchy. Cool. Oh, I have a gold province? Big money. There's like no conquests here. I swear. That's annoying. Oh. Well, I just lost his on there. Is there air right now? We gotta hope for they don't get rid of him. Pretty sure they get an event where they can just get rid of that guy. Ugh, that's tempting. Okay, I'm thinking we just go for it. Bang! It has stack wipe. If I lose a seed race, if I actually lose this, oh my god. They're actually about to win a seed race. That is so stupid. Okay, wait. Alright, so they unconditionally surrendered, so now I can Union with Bohemia. Now they're probably gonna hate me, so yeah. Okay. Okay. So don't take this yet. Settle Australia. What? This game wants me to go colonial as Austria? This event happens. We get... Look what gets produced. Okay. Let's... Okay. Nice event. I can usurp the electorate. I can become an elector. <laughs> I'll do that in a bit. I guess I'll become an elector. I'm an elector now, and I got an achievement for it. <laughs> I can declare war on France. We had number them but like double. Ugh. Did I do it? It's tempting. I will say that it's tempting. Scotland would join. Alright, we're we're going to war against France right now. Oh, Burgundy, you put it in the work. Ooh, a second one. I can go, I'm not gonna go with Shingle Foods, it's no point. Go to Emperor. I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, I'll go with this. Better cost, monthly paper growth modifier, ability max privileges, yeah, pretty good. 
Oh, I got, um, hungry. Cool. So now I can take this. And then we get a, we can get an incorporated personal union, which I've never heard of that before. Okay, wait. Yeah, they're an incorporated personal union. What does that mean? What's the difference? Ooh, I can get. Okay. I'm now able to embrace the Renaissance. There we go. Two for one, not bad, I guess. I say this is good enough. So. We are actually going to give stuff to Burgundy in hopes that we'll get them in a personal union later. So, let's give them these two. That sounds pretty good. There we go. Oh, yeah, let's do it. And then Austrian vassal. Bang. Now we're at war with Austria. <laughs> Bit overkill, but you know. <laughs> Bit overkill for Switzerland, but you know, never be too safe. This means I can now give them strong duchies. There we go. Uh, from Switzerland, so I take money basically. There we go. The Shadow Kingdom has begun. I think we need to reign in the Italians. What cores do you have? I have two on Venice right now. Can Miltec 4 beat Miltec 5? I think so. Come on. Yeah! There we go. Sick. I got a comet. Let me see it. Call Saxony in. Oh. <laughs> I can already take this. Okay. You know what I'm thinking? We make all of them subjects. <laughs> okay. I've got a ton of subjugation CBs. Oh my, I can get personal union on Naples. Okay, hold up. Let's pick it up right now. There we go. Really only allies with each other. What is this? Nah. <laughs> nah, man. I think I'm gonna go like dip low, maybe. It's a good idea go for Austria, honestly. I'm thinking dip low. Maybe influence? Okay. What can I get from dip low? Okay. So off the bat, I'm thinking. Influence, and then I can take Diplo later. You know what I mean? I knew this though. I'm gonna subjugate these guys and then conquer the rest of Europe, or not Europe, Italy, and then give it to Parma. Oh boy. <laughs> they got. What? They got. Bruh. Okay, so I think what happened here is, um, France got Naples as a junior partner, and then Castile contested it. I don't know if I can win this one. Hold up. Actually, I'm half a chance. So for this one, for the third government form, I'm definitely choosing representative of the crown. Now at war with Ferrara, and then I'm gonna take these provinces and give them to Parma. What? Styrian Nobles Revolt. That's weird. Well, it sucks for you, mate. It'd be great if I could seize this province, bro. Oh my god. Dude! I didn't mean to sell titles. Oh my god. I didn't mean to sell titles. Dang it. Nah, bro.
Good lord. <laughs> I'm just gonna declare them now. Execute a ruler for that. Hey, right, that's way less. That's way less. Okay, cool. I can now take Venetian ports. Uh. Great. The French disallied the Ottomans. Let's go. Yes, I got I got Burgundy. I got Burgundy. Oh my god. Let's go. It's a big Burgundy too. Look at that. Okay. Burgundy in recent years has been superior to land, specifically low countries in the western border of empire. Laying claim to the lands of Altharingia. With Lysos Posthumus not going to think of Duke of Burgundy, who may not decide what will be their fate. They can either no longer be inheritable via the event, or we can just not do that. I'm not going to lie, I kind of want this big Burgundy. So I'm going to do that. So this would be a pretty hard war. Actually, no. Look at their middle tech compared to ours. They have five? Okay. We just gotta do it. What we're gonna do is this. Play for Krakow, I guess. Oh! Denmark joined. Whatever. I'm just swinging Sweden and see if we're just loyal. Yep. Okay. Doesn't matter. So, what we're gonna do in this is, um, literally just. Making Poland the least nations so that they lose development, right? Because they currently have, uh, what was it, 400 development? Yeah. If you make them have less than 400 development, then we get a restoration of Union CV on them, which would be very good. Oh, there, there you go. What? How much dev are they then? Oh my god, they're 401. What is that? Nah. <laughs> my second idea group, I will probably do... Um, probably like... No, that's a defensive. I don't really want any land from this either, so I might just do a player of this. Accumulate arrival. So I can... Uh, take off an age objective. Here you go. Interesting. War here. Actually, we could also get Castile in here. If I send them out a, th a thousand ducats. And then use Castile. Alright, so the odds are definitely in our favor right now. <laughs> okay. They're gonna go there. And win that battle. There we go. Regenberg, Regensburg's debts. What is this? No, I'll take some people. I'll take some authority. Okay, let me peace out, France. Um, just give me war reps and money. I'll do with you later. Okay, so my, my tier four government reform. I'm going to choose land to the church. I'm probably going to be staying Catholic for this. Bang. I'm now gonna enact my. Oh, wait. Hold up. I'm now gonna enact my golden area. There we go. And I will now enact the second. Uh. H area form. There we go. What did this even do? Oh. I got more dip another diplomat. Cool. Oh. The Ottoman Menace. I can get this. There we go. If no. Province in Europe. It's owned by the Ottomans. I get the end of the Ottomans event. And the event Greeks of Con in Constantinople. Alright. Oh wait, they got a Hasburg on their, on their, as their heir. Well. The truce with the, with the French has expired. And I'm going to call another one. And then, there we go. 
And the Ottomans didn't even come in. So that's they know it's a bad sign. <laughs> At least said they were coming in, but I guess not. So am I able to take... Or am I, am I able to make them cancel this? Yes, I can. Okay. Cool. I wish I could just take, you know, Naples and the war, but, you know. Can't have everything, you know. Oh, the... Wait, what? The Ottomans did join. That's weird. Alright, head on over. Boom. A lot of money. Let's clean up the borders. They're kind of messy right now. Oh yeah, let's got, got to declare on Poland. I almost forgot. Okay. Um... So they have another 500 development. Because they took back that. So what we're going to do is this. Gonna do that. Once again, Denmark can be super annoying. You know, I'll do Imperial Bane or whatever. Why not? Oh, I could take um well Dhabi in this war. Okay. Make them release Galicia Bohemia. And Mazovia. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I can take this. Recover Silesia. Get local development costs, all goods produced, and a random province, at least station development, gets two base production. Alright, that's a 100% on Poland. There we go. Okay, so now I can do it if I want. And what I'm gonna do. <laughs> is, um, this. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna at least dance <laughs> There you go. Oh my god. Does France even exist anymore? No, France is gone. Ah! France is completely gone. What? Oh, what, what did that say? Hold up. Unlock the Great Council of Mechelen government reform, which will disable the Dutch Revolt. Nice. How do I enact it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a... I have an idea here. Probably. That or a Diplo idea. Yeah, I'm probably diplomatic. Alright, we're gonna declare for Constantinople itself. Because I'm pretty sure... There's a thing for this? Yeah, 25 provinces in the Balkans. Owned by me. And if Wallachia and Moldavia are subjects and Romania does not exist, okay, cool, we can create this Romania itself. Okay. That's what we're gonna do then. We're gonna take Moldavia real quick. Here we go. Alright, that should be enough. Yep, there we go. Peace them out. And I'll make Moldavia a vassal. Now I'm thinking we declare on the Ottomans. Here we go. Oh, I got provinces up here? What? I guess, um, because he'll give me provinces. Interesting. I mean, thanks. That's what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> okay. And that's, uh, that's that beast deal. I can now pass the third one. And there we go. We can actually ally the Poles. <laughs> what? That is odd. I will not be releasing Bulgaria and Byzantium, by the way, because I already don't have a lot of diplomatic relations. And once again, we take and going to war with them. This time it's to get back Danzig's cores and also this one with lots of core. Oh, silly, the junior partner of Poland. Love to see it. You know what? I'm actually going to pick um, probably. Religious here. 
because soon um religious stuff's gonna happen so that one's gonna be converting to protestant there right here so yeah there we go so here we are again so turn this turn this or turn this turn this turn this there we go now, i'll declare on Galicia bohemia i don't really want all this i'm not gonna lie I guess I'll get a similar dobby or something. My force, then the Britain Alliance is Brittany, because I want to declare Britain. I have now finished influence ideas, so now I can do that. I guess I don't know. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> send it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna send you this. And now, we're gonna declare for uh, Kosovo. Oh, they're still on Miltech 9. <laughs> what happened here? What? That's the thing. I so. Bang. You know what I'm thinking? We declare an Aragon, right? Bang. And then we take four provinces in this area. Because you need four provinces in this region, it seems like, to get this. Wait, the Mamluks declared war on the Ottomans? Huh? Yeah. Oh, what? Gurkhanid Persia? Oh, is that the Timurids? Yeah. The Timurids got ran into Gurkhani. Is that just like... I'm assuming this is the thing that they get in their mission tree. That's cool. Okay. So I get a Restoration Union of CB on Castile. Okay, so if we have Trust of 80. Diplo Rapid is 4. And have the thing against them, and have oh. Okay. How many? How much opinion or trust we got? We're good. We had to improve our opinion. Okay. So you might have a bit of a coalition here, but what can you do? You know, it's just a way of life. I can guarantee Castile's independence. <laughs> like there's like super weak or something. That's hilarious. Okay, our relations are now 190. So that means... If I take this right now, this should unlock a decision. And we formed a personal union with Castile. <laughs> Just like that. That is actually amazing. <laughs> it, that was, it was that easy. <laughs> what? That is insane. Hold up, what? That is so broken. At least got all of his steel for free. Like just by being allied with them. As in as unreal. This is the player map. <laughs> this is the play this is the player map map. God dang. We actually have more numbers in the coalition right now. We could take on the coalition. I got an achievement. My god, Austria has got made so much better. Oh my god, so, um, the incorporated, like, whatever union, it doesn't use diplomatic relations. Okay, that's cool. So if we at least get 10 more provinces in Iberia, which easy, just declare on these dudes. The Universal Empire. The rise of the unhappy monarchy leader many nations in the Holy Empire seen as a threat to the sovereignty rather than a protector. 
The question must be settled in the Imperial Court as to what will happen to this universal empire. What does that mean? Either Castile ne will no longer be in the Union of Austria, or I will gain 25 aggressor expansion with all of the Imperial Princes. What? That is insane. Well, I wasn't picking this, so we're good. <laughs> but still, that's unreal. None of my subjects came in disloyal, too. That's funny. This is the piece I'm going with. There we go. Guys, please. Come on, stay with me here. No. <laughs> no. I mean, I could still declare in the coalition right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I can still could I can still declare in the coalition. I don't feel like that's necessary though. Okay, so the coalition is not actually that bad. We can actually take it on, which is probably what I'm gonna do. So um, let's just declare like Saluto. Just gonna like, be a little finale to the to the video here. So this is the current war right now. Uh. Yeah. Whoa, look at that my arm. Look at that. Oh sick. Oh my god, and there's no way I just won that. <laughs> I really just won that battle. You serious? Um Yeah, for the tier six I'm from, I'm gonna go with this. You know, white piece right now. Which I probably should. Okay. <laughs> I won the war. <laughs> oh. Alright, well that was definitely a war. Alright, next month. And there we go. As ended. There we go. Claire. Or Rosello. The coalition goes crazy. Let's go. Alright guys, so that's pretty good for today. Uh, if I do continue this like, campaign, I'll focus on uh, chopping Poland down and then I'm not, I probably won't go colonial. I don't see a point unless we get some like, really good bonuses. But uh, so yeah, I'll probably focus on Poland, Lithuania, maybe Italy, and you not know why not pushing England out of France and oh yeah, pushing Ottomans out of Europe. So that's my plan. Or if I do continue this, I probably will. So I'll see you guys in the next video.